For blood test number four in 2023, Assembler to Ginfinity for NAD analysis to test the effect of 600 milligrams of nicotinic acid per day on NAD. And on that day, in an earlier video, we saw that I raised my NAD levels to 67.4 micromolar using 600 milligrams of nicotinic acid per day. Now note that my baseline NAD levels are 20 to 25 micromolar, which is without any NAD precursors. So 600 milligrams of nicotinic acid per day raised NAD by two to three times higher above my baseline. On the same day as that test though, I also sent blood to True Diagnostic for epigenetic analysis. And as a quick mention, there are discount links for both of these companies in the video's description. So if you wanna measure your own NAD or epigenetic age, those links will be in the video's description. So on the same day as the NAD test, I, we saw that my Dunedin pace, which measures the epigenetic pace of aging, was 0.98 as highlighted in red. And that's my worst epigenetic pace of aging score, 0.98, over 11 tests. So then that raises the question, did high dose nicotinic acid or high NAD being higher than 60 micromolar cause this 0.98 for the epigenetic pace of aging? So if I can increase NAD to higher than 60 micromolar, but without nicotinic acid, will Dunedin pace again look like an outlier? So to test that in December of 2023, I supplemented with two grams of NMN per day or 2000 milligrams. And then once again, sent blood to Ginfinity for NAD analysis. And on that day, in an earlier video, we saw that I again was able to raise NAD to greater than 60 micromolar at 61 micromolar. So then that raises the question, did high dose NMN mess up Dunedin pace? If yes, it's a high NAD issue. In other words, I'll have two different methods of raising NAD to greater than 60 micromolar, nicotinic acid and NMN. So if Dunedin pace is still messed up, that suggests it's a high NAD problem, too, uh, NAD being too high. But if it's no, if high dose NMN did not mess up Dunedin pace, that suggests that it's a high nicotinic acid or nicotinic acid being too high as a potential reason for why Dunedin pace was so high. All right, so results from the December 11th test have come in for, from True Diagnostic. And on that day, the same day as the 61 micromolar for NMN, we can see that my Dunedin pace was 0.74, which is my lowest Dunedin pace, Dunedin pace over 11 tests. So that's good news for NMN, for those who use NMN relative to other NED precursors. So to answer the question, did high dose NMN mess up the Dunita pace? It certainly did not. And that indicates or suggests that this is a high dose nicotinic acid problem in terms of messing up the epigenetic pace of aging. Now with that in mind, in earlier videos, we saw that I've used 60 milligrams of nicotinic acid per day, and that did not mess up Dunita pace. So I'm sporadically taking very low doses of nicotinic acid on workout days, which is when I uh, posit that I may need the NAD, boot, NAD boost the most relative to other days. Now, I wish this is where the story ended, but unfortunately, there may be bad news for NMN. That's because high dose NMN may have messed up telomere length. And it's important to mention that true diagnostic doesn't measure telomere length like other methods, uh, including qPCR or FISH. It uses a DNA methylation estimation of, or it's a DNA methylation estimation of telomere length. In other words, it's an, it's an epigenetic measurement uh, of telomere length. So I have 11 tests for telomere length. All of them are shown here. And on the same day as the 61 micromolar, telomere length, the estimated telomere length based on DNA methylation was 7.06 .06 kilobases. Now note that for eight tests in 2023, that's my lowest value. In fact, none of the other seven tests in 2023 were less than 7.1 kilobases. So that's a little strange to start. Now, it's also in the same ballpark as my worst three or worst first three telomere length measurements, which were all also less than 7.1 kilobases. Now, did NMN cause this? Is this just random fluctuation or random noise? I don't know. But with that in mind, I'm off high dose nicotinic acid and I'm off high dose uh, NMN. Uh, currently gonna use, as I mentioned, the low dose nicotinic acid, 60 milligrams per day or less, but then also, if you've been paying attention to the channel and you're a familiar watcher, I'm going to use things like trigonelline or 1-methylnicotinic acid in relatively low doses to try to impact NAD. And I just ordered uh, fenugreek seeds, which are, have actually the highest concentration of 
1-methyl nicotinate or trigonelline. So we'll see if that will increase NAD in future videos. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. And before you go, we've got a whole bunch of discount links and merch that you may be interested in, including discount links for epigenetic testing, NAD quantification, oral microbiome composition, at-home metabolomics, at-home blood testing with Cyfox Health, which includes ApoB, green tea, diet tracking, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website, buy me a coffee. We've also got merch. So if you're interested in wearing the Conquer Aging or Dietrime brand, as I've got on here in every video, that link and all of the other links will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.